Bleach Thousand Year Blood War episode 32 is done in the books. Now our Bleach Boys discussion for that episode got yeeted into oblivion by YouTube. So this is the last 10 minutes of the podcast. As promised to you guys, thank you so much for waiting. Thank you so much for understanding. I don't know what happened there, but it's here now. Enjoy the thrilling conclusion to our Camp Fear and World discussion and the end of the podcast. So you know how people, were, they're like, oh, the stuff Kubo was adding changes the whole cosmology of how like the Bleach world works. I would love if that also still makes Camp Fear your, old, your own world canon, because I would love that everything that Tokinata based his entire existence on was just a lie. Yeah, yeah, and it, it Fuck works. That bitch. It still works very well with Tokinata because a lot of the stuff that he bases existence on in the story that he knows of how the world was formed in the book, he says, "I heard a rumor that this might be," and even when Ichibe is explaining, he's like, "The rumor goes that this is this." So it's perfect. It's really, really good. I like that a lot. Uh, a lot of people were saying they hope Shuhei uses his Bankai uh, no. later on in the series. No, I don't think he'll do it. I I like Shuhei's Bankai. I love the way that it was used in Camp Fear and World. If you're a Shuhei fan, go read Camp Fear and World. I promise it will so pay off good. so good. He's already cool. Um, that's a great novel for his character. And you shouldn't want, as a Shuhei fan, you should not want them to take stuff from Camp Fear and World because they should adapt that. That is a great story for Shuhei. It's a great moment for him in front of all the other captains where he gets his Bankai. It is a fantastic payoff. The same thing with Shinji. If I was a Shinji fan, I would be mad that he did not get the moment to shine that he did in Camp Fear World because that moment is so much better. It's so much cooler. It's so much cooler. His Bankai is so much stronger in the novel as well, which happens with all the characters. All the novel characters are so fucking broken for some reason. Three-piece combo. But it's a great time and i don't want them to keep cherry picking the best moments from that novel to put into the anime because at this point i i'm like 50 50 on if they're ever going to adapt camp fear world because i think the fact that they already took shinji's bankai out of it it's not a big loss but it was a big part to the novel at a certain point it was a cliffhanger um, for think, book two yeah, yeah i i think if they take shuhei's bankai out we're not getting camp fear world it'll never happen i think I think if that gets shown in the anime, it's done. The dreams of Camp Fear World is over. I think that story is really well written, and it play, plays great respect to a lot of the characters. I just want them to adapt it, so I don't want them to steal stuff from there. I'm done. I think they. I think they will. We will find out next episode if Camp Fear Your Own World is going to be adapted or not, because we're going to get a lot of scenes with Lil Toto, and if she's there, and if she has that flashback to talking with Grimmy. Then that confirms we're not getting Can't Figure Your Own World because that was a big part of it. One of my favorite scenes from Can't Figure Your Own World, by the way. <laughs> we'll have to what wait and see. Did she ask for a piece of a cookie or a cake? She, she walks up to the scariest Quincy ever to be, Grimmy, and just goes, Hey, I'm hungry. Make me donuts. I love that scene. That was when I was like, Okay, I went from Lil Toto was trash to I love this character. Jose, did you think of a question you asked Kubo? No. I did. Because once you guys said that uh, can't be your own world, else, my brain started spiraling at that point. I was just like, fuck. <laughs> just everything in there went so well. Mm -hmm. Pythes, you said you thought of a question? Yeah, but hold on. I'm going to answer I'm gonna answer for Jose. Jose, you're going to ask Kubo how much of old Nemu's memories are going to be added to new Nemu. I don't want that. <laughs> okay. That's just, good. That's a good question. Just let her be just the new person. It's like it's like when my when your when your wife passes on and you, you know eventually you go through your mourning stages and you, you okay. pick your next one you know n number two on the list. It's kind of fucked up, Jose. I know. Yeah. I, mean, I just like fuck. I don't want a child. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Damn. <laughs> this is some deep Jose mental lore uh, coming out. Uh, specifically, Nemo child. <laughs> <laughs> Unless we made that child. Good recovery. Good recovery, Jose. Good recovery. So it was mentioned by Kubo at some point that Isane. Uh, had romantic feelings toward Unohana. So I wanted to know, did she reciprocate? Were they a thing? Is it canon, Kubo, or not? Pythes, I, I, <laughs> I have to apologize to you, Pythes. I just have this image of you in my head that you're just such a fucking degenerate, and I have to apologize <laughs> because I just, like, I heard that first fucking thing. It's like, oh, it was said that Isane and Retsu, uh, they had, or Isane had romantic feelings for Retsu. In my head, I mean, like, I'm going to have to cut the next thing that comes out of fucking Python's <laughs> mouth because I know it's just going to be the most fucking deplorable thing that's going to come. I thought the thing that's going to come out of your mouth is, did they scissor? I thought that was going to be the question. I was like, I, and then, Damn. You know, oh, did she reciprocate? I'm like, I don't know where I have this image of Pythes being the most fucking degenerate human being that it I is, know, but it is I'm sorry. Exclusively, everybody needs to know it is exclusively because of the shit I like on Twitter. <laughs> yeah yeah my fucking bad dog maybe like I, I maybe that's it i don't know but my fucking bad 
I am like 75% completely normal wholesome, but then the rest of it is just like this garbage on Twitter, like this on retweet that. <laughs> Any last comments that you guys want to make on the episode before we hop over to the captain's meeting episode of Bleach Boys? I was going to say something, but I I feel like Kubo did answer it. It's just like the visors. Can they go resurrection? I think that was a club outside question that was asked. Recently. I feel like it was. I think Kubo said they like they are able to, but like they can't. Like none of them have done it, but they could do it if they trained. Oh, okay, so it's kind of like he like when he answered that Grimjo could go Segunda Tapa. Yeah, he could. He just hasn't yet because he's you know he hasn't unlocked that shit. Uh, there is another character you forgot. Do you remember that that girl you saw in the lab that had chains in her hair? Yes. Yeah, the one who falls. Yeah, that that's that's Mashiro's sister. Mm, okay. Oh, okay. Very cool. Her name is Nico. I guess the the. The Renji fan was there as well, by the way. The one that has the uh, oh, the dude with the brow, yeah. Rikichi, my he boy. He was, he was, yeah, he was <laughs> there as well. But he was not part of the scanning shot where we saw everybody at the front of it. But he was part. There was a time that we saw the back of all the people on the ground, and it was like Maki Maki, and then he was one of them. He's as well. one of the orb holders. Good, and, yeah, I like it. It feels so much more impactful. That's the one thing I will say about this episode is they this and the last one really made the gates seem like such a big deal. Like it's way harder to do. Because it was nothing in the manga. My favorite scene added so far to the anime as a whole is the Shunsui speech yeah. scene. I love I that they. That was the I best love ever. that they yeah. brought all the old Soul Reapers back, and now it's a. It is a much larger group effort. I love it. Like what happened in the lab? Visor show up. Stern Ritter show up. Uh, we made a gate. That was it. This is a whole ordeal. I will say they did unintentionally make me laugh when Shunsui is about to, you know, they, they the gate is made, he's about to make his speech, and the little handles on the doors were behind his his hat. They looked like Mickey Mouse ears. <laughs> <laughs> that was like, they, nice. they should have changed the angle just a little bit. Great episode. Uh, not amazing, but like it is... Last episode was wanted. This episode was needed because the next six episodes are going to go crazy. By the way, just for lore reasons, uh, we've discussed Sam's Bonkai. I have decided his Shikai is just a hand grenade. <laughs> now, I'm not on board with the hand grenade. I feel like that's not representative to anything. But it's, it's, I feel like the hand grenade just goes hand in hand it's with, with the, your with love the explosive. for uh, Kukaku. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, you're swaying me now, Jose. You, you son of a bitch. Jose, that that is much more thought than I put into it because I was thinking, like, what's one thing Sam hates? A fair fight. Okay, so like, <laughs> you you draw your swords, you stance up, you take your battle stance. Sam just immediately throws a grenade in their face. No, Pythes. Okay, so in 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 the deep Sam lore and our friendship lore, we played yeah. D and D, and Sam's character would always carry pocket sand. <laughs> <laughs> Shikai is sand. Uh, Shikai is pocket sand. Yeah. No, Great. <laughs> no, he has the grenade, but he can carry the sand because he learned the technique from Kukaku. Listen, you guys aren't being creative <laughs> enough. Here's here's how the sword works. Very similar to Gin's sword, where they kind of you can crack open and there's like this little hidden compartment with poison, but it's just fucking sand. So when we lock when we lock swords in like a stalemate, it blows sand into your fucking eyes. I love that. Yeah. It's kind of like the Joker with a little flower on his yeah. chest. It just shoots sand at you. It's like not even poison. It just it's shoots like, sand. Why is your uh, why is your sword? look like it's got cracks and holes on it yeah. you'll find out <laughs> yeah every time i hit you sand is just like <laughs> exploding oh, oh, that's actually spray, really good. he has to put it up to his mouth and go <laughs> yeah yeah i blow through the cracks you <laughs> you know what it's kind of like uh ishin when he does the and gets yeah yeah, but, yeah but sand but sand <laughs> there you go <laughs> The stupidest bonkai ever, dude. Or like the Sheikai, the stupidest one. Okay, uh, so to make the po the, the the pocket sand joke even better, uh, it's not a normal size sword. He just has a pocket knife. Well, then I'm stealing too much from Kensei at that yeah. point. You know? yeah, I, Kensei's going to get jealous. Yeah. I've been expanding on the Sam bonkai lore, and I've decided it's not just mustard gas. Uh, Sam has an access to the entire Geneva Convention <laughs> in which he can look <laughs> Stop! No, Stop. He, no. he, he can look and see what war crime would be the best to win at this moment. So, like, Ukitake is a really nice guy, right? So Sam goes, come along, my child soldiers. Hey, I mean, honestly, aside from the child soldier part, great bonkai. <laughs> great bonkai. I'm totally on board. The Geneva Breaker. It's great. Geneva no, breaker. it's called the Geneva Suggestion. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Great. Oh really good. Let's wrap there. Thank you to our Weebs Guild Captain Level members, which is PV. We appreciate your support as always. If you guys want to get your name read out live or have it appear on the screen like so, join our Patreon. We're going to head into the Bleach Boys Captains meeting. If you guys don't know, we do it an extra 15 minutes of the Bleach Boys exclusively for our Patreon members. We appreciate any of the support you guys can give us, whether that be likes, following, subscribing, all that helps us out greatly. If you guys want to check us out live, we do do a live manga reading every Friday. And then Saturday, we have a live watch of the episode that we all do together, which is very, very cool. A lot of people have been asking for a rewatch of the first movie now that that has become relevant again. So maybe that's something that Down. we can work on as well. With that, you guys, if you want to join our Discord, the link in the description is down below. We've been having a lot of new people join the Discord. It's a really great time. I cannot recommend enough that you guys come on in and we can talk some bleach in the Discord. Sam gets bullied. Okay. That's yeah. unnecessary. All the time. That's all unnecessary. The time. All right. Not by it's me. It's a love hate thing, guys. It's like it's a love hate thing. I don't bully With him. That, I'm nice to him. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> We will see you guys next Sunday for a new episode of Bleach Boys. Let us know what you guys thought in the comments. And then let us know if you could ask Kubo any one question that you're guaranteed an answer. What would you ask Kubo? All right. Goodbye, everybody.